Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Jonathan's Lawn Care episode. I believe episode four at this point. We've come home and finished baling hay. All of it is done. It's now October. Um, we mowed our first customer's lawn. We bought our equipment, all that fun stuff. And now we're kind of set. Um, not sure if this was part of the last video, but my uncle, well, I, I built a shed. I moved more stuff that I had. I have a I have a saw table, a table saws, my fuel barrels, one of them got refilled again. Um, I got this shelf, I got an engine crane, generator, a sink, my weed whackers back here. Um, I got a Kubota Sidekick RTV uh, XG850, and I got some more shelves and a bunch of crates back here, and well, like I was just about to say, my uncle gifted me as a business warming type gift, a Kubota M8201 with a John Deere Batwing mower. And this thing's supposed to be a big brush hog, and this one's supposed to be, I guess, the little one. The little brush hog. Nothing else in here has really changed. I mean, I kind of moved stuff around so that I could put the other truck in here. I also got a cooler to put all my frozen meats and all that in. So now there's a uh, cooler. And well, all my mowers and all that are still in here. The truck's in here, so is the F100. So everything's looking good. We'll actually keep this open, because we're about to do my second contract, and which is near Patrick's place, very close. I also found an old boat at uh, my parents' house, and they so they, uh, they asked him about this, and so, yeah, just take it. So I guess I got a boat now. <laughs> so, um, I also got this little thing put up back here. It's like a, it's like a little grill station with a uh, tent, so... Yeah, I've been spending a lot of money here late recently on decorations and stuff. And I got two grills, so you gotta know I'm rich by now, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, we gotta get this truck... Get this truck started, because we need to, uh... Get the Batwing mode, or, or that Komodo tractor. We're gonna use it. It's the first time it's been put to use, and we're gonna use it. Because the first yard we need to go to... The first place we need to go to is, um, like I said, near Patrick's place, and it's in need of a cut, and it's a pretty large field. Well, not really field, but it's a pretty large area, so we're going to mulch it down with the bat line. And I was also planning on heading over to my parents, maybe later, because there's that bush line at the field, and, well, it's been growing up, and... I want to cut that down so we can actually not have bushes there. So, yeah, this this tractor is, I think, the biggest kind you can get in the area. And, well, I'm not going to complain because this is a really nice tractor. And with the Batwing on it, well, it's, it feels like an unstoppable duo. So, and, well, overall, it seems like probably, seems like a really cool, uh, thing so, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and drive this on here very carefully there we go this probably is all we're gonna be able to fit and the bat wings kind of falling off there so we need to fix that but this tractor is a really nice tractor I I think I've driven it up the road a bit just to get a feel for it. And it's a very, very nice tractor, so. I guess it was extra on my uncle's farm, and he didn't want it, so I gave it to me. And there's a business warming gift, so it's, it was really awesome of him. So. But this this person just asked me to. His yard's fine, he said. He just wants me to. bat wing everything till it's. like, gone. Like, it's just tall grass with the weeds in it. They don't want all that, so they want to get me to mow it all down so I can do that. So, I believe that's their house right there, actually. So, we've got a nice barn in the back. Or just a big shed. Storing junk in it or stuff like that. So. And I don't mean to be nosy, but I like looking through barns. So, if I'm able to, I might take a look in there. And... My goodness. What the... Patrick? I, can't, I don't even know if 
Uh, if I remember correctly. Patrick, I think that would have helped. I'm honestly unsure. Oh my gosh. Whatever, whoever owns it, that thing was huge. Like, that thing is massive. Well, we're gonna put this ramp down, because this is where we're gonna park it. There he goes again, speeding down the road. Anyway, um, I believe that was Patrick. It looked like he pulled into the place, so. But yeah, basically anything on this side of the driveway is what we're mowing down. So I guess we'll go ahead and start. This is all getting mulched and we missed a tiny little spot. Now I believe they were wanting me to do this job. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and cut this field. They do have a driveway to said barn. It's right here. I don't know, maybe we can get a glimpse inside and see if there's any goodies in there besides a bunch of junk. <laughs> uh, we'll get a good look whenever we come around. But, yeah. This thing moves very nicely, and this tractor pulls it very good. Yeah, this is, the, this is their property line, this little dirt path thingy. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I don't know, some kind of dirt path. <laughs> then they border uh, this field right here. And they wanted it mowed down because they said it was kind of bothering them that it was so overgrowing and all that. So they didn't, didn't want it there. They said if they could try to get those bushes. I can't guarantee getting these bushes. They said just do your best. We'll pay you 750 Or no, it was 800 I think. They've already got a nice bear spot right here. Good grief. They must be putting something in there. That or they did something, I don't know. <laughs> they said don't go past the tree line, though. They can get that or call me again some other time to do that with a smaller mower. They said just do this portion for now and that'll, that'll be perfect. They just want this to get done so it can look neat again. And well, if they want that, I can do that. Head back up this way. I think this is one of Patrick's customers, too. I think he uh, gets his cars fixed up in here. Alright, he said if we can mow down those bushes, that would be terrific. And get them all out of the way and fixed out. And this is what we need to do. I need to get that other mower up there and do this so it can get done. Right, it's that one little patch that I'm missing right there. I need to get it. That way it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> Alright. Just mow this down right here. Should be good. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, this mower mows fine. going along this shed right here or this side of the shed and mow all the bushes back down all right oh missed one man they got a lot of junk in there <laughs> whoa oh what's that I see a jeep back there and I hope they don't mind but I'm kind of curious now Wow. Alright, I need to get out of here before they catch me snooping in their garage. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, well. I want to call Patrick up, see what he thinks about that. Mm, ring, ring. Hello, this is uh, Patrick with Patrick's uh, vehicle fixing people so I have a good name how may I help you today this is Jonathan's lawn care um I'm mowing oh, some man. guy's lawn probably one of your customers uh -huh. I see a truck that's been in the shop before. Uh -huh. he's like uh -huh. just down the road from you he's the one with the big oh, garage like a big gray 2017 Toyota or something like that yeah oh he's, yeah 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 Jeremy yeah. Uh, yeah well did you know he has an old Jeep Willis back there uh, no. 
Okay, like, well I saw World it and I'm... Cheap willies, like yeah. old. Like it's old. And I'm actually kind of curious and seeing if they want to sell it. I'll, I'll talk to them and I'll see if you can, uh, <laughs> see if you want to come up and look at it too. Because I'm thinking about maybe fixing it up. It's a little rusty in some areas, so I might have you fix it up for, you know, a little bit of profit for yeah. you. Yeah. Well, when you buy it, you you better t you better uh, make sure I'm there to drag it out. Oh yeah. Well, I'll be I'll be I'll be here. I mean, I'm mowing their their yeah. backyard with my new Batwing. Yeah, I, see, my yeah I, just, I just drove by. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah. But uh, well, I guess I mean, if you want I'll, me to stop by, I can talk to him about it. But yeah. Well, I'm gonna talk to him after I finish this job, and then mm. I'll call you and have you come up help me move the junk out of the way if they agree to buy it. Maybe yeah. if so I should bring my yeah. thirty five hundred down for moving junk. Yeah. But if if they're willing to, maybe I can do this job and for the Jeep instead of getting paid money for it. Yeah. Unless they want a little bit sure. of extra money. Because yeah. honestly well, I wouldn't mind. That. And, yeah. Well Jeremy's yeah. an older guy and well he can kinda of keep some stuff he probably shouldn't keep sometimes, but Yeah. I yeah. mean, I wouldn't mind having one of them. I'm not sure what kind of engine's in it, though. But it yeah, as long as you talk to his wife, it'll be tr gone, trust me. <laughs> no, but... Um... <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, he, he'll probably sell it. I've never well, actually known he had one. Yeah, it's, Anyways. Sitting, it's sitting on the very back of that junk pile in that garage he yeah. has back there. Probably forgot he had it. <laughs> he's he's not the that. brightest one, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll talk to you here in a yep. couple minutes. Probably call you yep. whenever I get the word mm -hmm. if I can buy it. Then we can come up yeah. with junk. Yep. And all that. Well, so. See ya, and I guess yep. you, I'm wishing you luck on a Jeep, because if you don't buy it, I will. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. see well, I'm probably going to buy it, so. Oh. Yep. Yep, bye. Alrighty. <laughs> well, we're already almost done. So, we'll finish this up. Go talk inside. Um, yeah, we'll just finish this up. We've got about, like, three, four passes left. At least on this end, there's only a couple. So, maybe if he, uh, doesn't mind, maybe I'll, like I said, he'll probably, probably be fine with me just, uh, I don't know, buying it. For, uh, well, trade, I guess like a trade in a way. I mow his lawn, he gives me the Jeep. Unless he wants me to pay extra, I don't, I don't know, it depends. Um, it, it really does depend. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully he does. Patrick seems to know him and he says he might sell it. He probably forgets he has it and probably doesn't care, so. <laughs> so. But if he does, I'll call Patrick and keep come up and help it. And see if we can get it to start at least. So. Right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, park this over here, not in the yard, because I don't want to ruin their stuff. And I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go talk to him real quick. Hopefully, he says yes, because if he does, that would be awesome. All right. Well, he told me he actually forgot about it, and he said if you can get that thing to start, and you, um, then you can go ahead and probably move most of the junk probably he's, he's probably gonna need like a dump truck thing or something to put it in I'm not sure what we're gonna do with all of it but let me give Patrick a call real quick so uh, bring 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 he sell it to you he's saying if we can get it started and move all the junk out of the way to get it out it's mine so pretty much if the thing if the thing starts it's ours well, mine. Or yours. Yours. Yeah, that's what I mean, yours. Yes. Basically. Okay. Which, I'll which be right down I, there. Yep. We gotta start moving junk, though, so. I'm bringing 3,500, or 2,500, 3,500, 30, 30, I, I yeah. forget. Here, I'll wave you down at the end of the driveway. Cause it's oh, no, no, I, I know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. Okay. Don't worry. I know well, where it is. Well, you always tend I... to forget where driveways are, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll watch you miss it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I'm really gonna get the driveway. Anyways, I'm gonna hang up now. All right. Oh uh, yep. Okay. See you in like probably 30 seconds. I'm at the end of the driveway. Yep. Well, he actually didn't miss the driveway. It's... 
And he misses every other driveway but this one. <laughs> The reason why I didn't miss it is I actually had my coffee this morning. Oh, okay, where you asked. Now, huh? <laughs> it, yeah, I had my coffee this morning. I even have time to change before I came down here. I still got all my stuff on. Yo, man. I got an old car, an old car left. This man is stacked with stuff. Yeah, so we have to move a lot of stuff. Oh, this is an old car. Oh, I, I have a car similar to this in my shop right now. It was yeah, so fully this, restored, but uh, this is barn, the barn vehicle fell. we're working with here. This old oh, Jeep. It looks like an old military grade one. Yeah, old, uh, probably World War II, probably like a 1942, 1943. Yeah. Um, Jeep. Let's see. Let's okay, see let if this thing. See this. Is, is there keys anywhere? Don't wait here. I have the key here. Just... Okay, here you go. Let's see if she even starts to crank over here. Let's find out. Might need a charged battery or give it a thumb. Oh, we got something. Hmm. Is it a deal? I think it's a 2.8 TDI. Then, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think that's an original motor. Could be, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think these single ones that came with like little small four cylinders that barely made any horsepower. Yeah. I don't know. She, okay, well, starting. considering considering he has this, you know, and this car lift, and I believe I saw. Yeah. yeah, there's an engine crane. He probably engine swapped well, it years old, ago. Like, there's this old engine looking like thing in front of it. If you look. Yeah. Does does this windshield fold down still? There. there. Oh yeah, it folds down already. Okay, well, yeah. interesting. Is there a cover well, to the back here? Look in the back, is there a cover? Yeah, there is thing? here. Oh, there is. Oh, it's pretty Let's torn. Maybe back this thing up. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there's some holes in it. It's pretty worn, but... Bad. Here, uh, make sure the lights work first. I doubt they will, but who knows. Oh. They flashed. They're flashing. Yeah, I think we might need a new battery, or at least charge yeah, it, or sure here. something. Me, yeah, we should probably start more. moving the junk so we can at least get the truck back yeah, in there. Yeah, here, I guess we have to start with these concrete slats. Are these, yep. okay, these things have to be, okay. We can pick up one at a time, maybe, well. It's, these yeah. whole, this whole thing, this whole top piece of one thing is probably going to be like 600 pounds. I'm not sure yeah. how we're going to move those. Good question. Uh, we'll figure it we, out. We, <laughs> well, yeah, we'll We'll figure it out. All right. Well, we'll see you guys whenever we get all of this done. All right. That, that was a was lot a of. Work. That was one workout. It was, now, but now I had this thing. I put a new battery in here, and it's been on a battery charger. So let me. Here, go take the top off. There you go. Here, let me. Crawl over here. At now. least get it to get out so we can get it. You know. Let's let's get it idling first. I doubt it'll just be a battery, but let's check the lights again. Oh. Might need new lights, but... Staying nope. on. Blinkers! Okay, left blinker? Yeah, it's on. Or it's right blinker, then left blinker. Yep, both are working. Okay, let's get, let's see, let's see. Is she neutral? She's in neutral. Let's see here. Oh! Oh, she fired. She didn't idle, but she fired. Oh, wait. Go. Hold on, keep that clutch pressed in. Wait, hold on. Hold on, she's idling. Okay, uh oh. Okay, if I release that clutch, let's put it in gear first. Okay, let's put her in gear. Come on. Oh, she's in gear. I let off that clutch and start throttling forward. Oh, she died. Okay, so let me Are put her back in neutral here. Work a clutch? <laughs> I know, no, I know how to work a clutch, dude. I've I'm been driving a manual you. since I, the day I was 16. <laughs> That's it. You didn't drive manual here. before that? No, I didn't drive a car before that. I didn't <laughs> drive much. Before. You should know this. Do you really think I was driving dirt bikes stuff in sixth grade? Exactly, I wasn't. Well, I didn't know you until I. Well, I didn't know you. You know. You knew me. I didn't in know you. Grade, I didn't know, know you. Yeah. But I didn't know you after that, really. <laughs> I didn't know what you were up no. to. Yeah. So I'm if I sure. keep the clutch halfway off, she starts rolling. And she, she don't stall. 
the f I am. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay. Let's put it back in first gear here. Let's. Okay. Let's take the foot off the clutch a little bit. Have it roll forwards. Okay. Just have it roll forwards. I'd watch out if I were you. That thing gonna fit watch through out. there? Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, if I take foot off the clutch and apply throttle, it will stall. I'm just rolling it out at this point. It's rolling out on in power. All right. Let me move your. Your truck over. Okay. Here. <laughs> She's running. Oh yeah. Well, it pro it probably needs fuel. Yeah, so I'm not gonna leave it running for too long. So it's gonna go. But we did it. Yeah. Got it running. I wouldn't run it for too long if I were you. So, it's... I need to get a trailer, so I need to run back to my house and get the F-100. I, I can grab your trailer for you. I can quickly run down there in my truck and get it. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and do that, actually. Uh, it should be sitting right in front of you. I can't miss it. <laughs> yeah, Just a little trailer. Me, miss it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be right back. You go talk to the guy. No, I'll be back. Don't do anything All right. stupid. Alright, well he's gonna go do that. We're gonna load this up, because we're pretty much done here, actually. And then we're gonna... Actually, uh... We're gonna talk to the guy, tell him we got it started. How much does he want for it? Or does he just want this job to be my pay for it? So he can save some money and also get rid of some junk. Because I... Because we pulled all that stuff out, and now he's probably gonna be calling in some kind of dump truck guy to collect all of it and scrap all most of it because most of it's actually junk that you really just don't need <laughs> so yeah, we'll strap all that down and do that and that's gonna sit over there I'll, I'll load that up whenever he gets back but we're gonna go talk to this guy real quick and tell him what he wants for it alrighty so uh, the guy told me uh an extra 500, just like basically just pay him 500 in the lawn mode. That'll do good for him since we got it running and well, he said if we get a run and we can do that. I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure it's a diesel. It's like a 2.8 TDI. So, we'll probably drain it and then put fresh fuel on it. Let's see if that makes it run yeah. any better. Good idea to put fresh fuel on it. Yeah. Remember, don't take your foot straight up the clutch. Kind of feather it out. Stall. Also, I could be wrong. But it might be replacement motor because all that I know of that you could only get little gas four cylinders in these things. I'd probably like a diesel four cylinder on it, but I could be wrong. <laughs> you definitely had to uh, uh, put a new motor on it. Because there's no way point. that's a stock motor. No, that but, thing would not run. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, because I looked at it while you were gone, it looked like a little diesel engine. Or, the like good. You know those DI engines? They're like, I think it's mini yeah. diesels. It's like a 2.8 liter. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, it is, because it said 2.8 TDI on the engine head. Or the cover, whatever it is. So, if that's it, those are not stuck engines, then he definitely did an engine swap on it. Yeah. But, either way, it's still a cool vehicle. Where's the I gas think... cap? Maybe it'll say something. It says gas, but if this is an engine swap, it might not be gas. Yeah. Well, I'm I looking up on my phone right now, and, well, well, I'm getting something out of a Land Rover. A 2.8 liter TDI. Or 2.8 hmm. liter 300 TDI. That's out of a Land Rover. Ah. Uh, well, this isn't a 300. It's just this 2.8 TDI. Unless well, 2.8 liter that. TDI. It probably doesn't say 300, but when I look up 2.8 TDI engine, I get 2.8 TDI 300. So it might hmm. engine of a Land Rover, a newer Land Rover. Yeah, he must have engine swapped it then. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and write a check for him, cause 
He said 500, and that's a deal. Really? That's not yep. bad at all. Plus the uh, oh, lawn yeah. cut, so. Mm. Around want 1300 me to bring bucks. This... You want me to bring this to my place so I can get to working on it? Uh, well, I'd like to uh, take it home first. Fair enough. I was asking because it's so hooked can... up to my truck, so. Yeah, that would make it easier, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But, but but at home I can hook it up to my truck that way you don't have to drive my trailer back or something like that. Oh no. You know. That's fine. Alright, well let's venture back to my house then. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so he's gonna meet me back there and I'll just switch trailers and probably take it off because I want to see if I can take it down the road a little bit and see if she's stable. You know what I mean? That's just trying to pass me in the grass. Right, we'll look both ways, be a civilized person. He's gonna break 50 traffic walls all in one turn. But anyway. Watch him miss my turn up there, because he, he probably would. He did it the last time, I think. Well, he's got two chances, so. His first driveway and the second driveway. And wow, he actually got it. Uh, would this be easier to come into, or should I go to the other one? This one's easier to come into. Sometimes it's easier to go to the second driveway. Alright, what's he doing? You go ahead, drop it there. That's what I'm doing. I was backing out of your way, because I know you parked uh, the trailer up there, so... Well, I parked both the trailers right there, but, yeah, I gotta pull yeah. up here so I can unload. Well, I know. Why are the beacon lights on? They always turn on for no reason. That's one thing about this truck. They just turn on when they feel like it. Just, well, be careful. You don't want to break it. We don't know how bad the underneath it is. It won't break. These things are meant to last. Uh, no. Oh. Out. Well, that aged well. That, that really did age well. Here, let me uh, This is my vehicle. Yeah, yeah, you do, yeah it's, it's your vehicle. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm having too much fun. I'm having yeah. too much fun. Oh, trust me. You'll get some good rides in this. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure I will. I'm going to take it down the road real quick. I'll be back. That's probably a stupid idea, but sure. And that's why we're doing it. Ah, oh, you haven't changed a bit. Ah, <laughs> uh, there should be a place to turn around. There's this guy's driveway up here. Let's see if we can get her up in years. She probably hasn't been started in over 30 years. Oh, yeah. She's kicking butt. I know that. Alright, well, I guess we'll take this back to Patrick's, because he has the plan to fix it. I'll probably tell him just get new tires and rims for it. Probably just classic black, or make it look like an original <clears throat> Jeep. Get it all cleaned up, you know, make sure the engine's working just fine, you know, all the fun stuff. Hopefully this is the, his doesn't take more than a month. Patrick is pretty quick with everything, so I'm sure he'll get it done pretty quick. Oh uh, yeah. So it looks like this thing is a six speed, six gears, reverse, neutral, included, I guess. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and then all the others. We put the trailer back, so I guess we're gonna have to unload before I do this. Alright. Oh, I guess we'll unload this thing first. We'll just Park it in the yard, it ain't gonna go anywhere. But i um, we'll load it up. Gotta watch out for my dolphin statue. I don't know why I bought that out, I thought it was cool. So, uh, I'm looking at the, uh, tags on the plates. They say 1998. For... It was the last time it was on the road, so 24 years. Holy crap, 
that means this thing's pretty yeah. You do inspections, right? We can get that sticker put on there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Make well, sure it's ready to go. I don't want to know you, but I can't inspect it. Actually, I probably could, because you could register it in the antique, and it doesn't need to be inspected, so I don't need to inspect it. But, um, I'm, I'm guessing just to my place to get it fixed. Yep, we'll load her up, and I'll meet you there. Yeah. Okie dokie. I tell you what, though, she gets up in gear. Six gears, gears Does with... She? Uh, reverse and neutral. Yeah. Now, when you bring it to my place, idea, but... am I just gonna put some new tires and rims on it and call it a day, or am I gonna do a full restoration on this? Well, we need to make sure the engine is working properly fine. Probably new gas, yeah. diesel, whatever it takes. And yeah, make sure the underneath is looking good, suspension, you know, all the fun yeah. stuff. I mean, Body. You want me to make it as original as possible? We'll take that Land Rover engine out of there and put it in and see if I can find an original four cylinder. Like, well, actually, we can well, Actually, I would like to keep the. Uh, to the 2.8 uh, TDI in it. Yeah, that's fine. With my me kind of do it your own thing, you know. <laughs> I'll yeah, meet you just at my make place it then. make it original, but with looks. Yeah. <laughs> original with some, you know, some modifications. Yeah, like, original. I don't think these are original seats. I think these are usually tan, maybe black. I'm I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll figure it out and I'll make it original, but not original at the same time. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> Yep. Anyway, see you at my place. Alright, after an eternity, this thing is now loaded up, and we're taking it to Bad Trucks. I used the other trailer because the other trailer was being weird. So, it's not realistic at all. Look for what you say. It's... No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, we're gonna load this thing up and take our turns and head up to good old Patrick's. There's the place that we bought it, I guess Jeremy is his name, I'm not quite too quite sure. But uh, yeah. And we're almost here, so that means we gotta go 90 miles per hour into his turn. Except we're not, because, well, I'm not gonna try to break this thing. Nope, no sir. Alright, let's just back this thing up. Oh, he's already got a bay open too, nice. Well, let's get this thing unloaded and put oh, in there. Yeah. I would put it in the first bay, but some guy bought Dodge and now it needs a transmission. Go figure. That's a TLS. So second bay it is. That's it's a Dodge. Well, it's a TLS mm -hmm. version. They still use Dodge transmissions. Well, let's hope this works. This thing sounds good in here. I'm trying to get this. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty even, if you ask me. Turn her off. I thought I saw this monster truck go down the road. <laughs> yes, sir. You know that old F-250 high boy that um, I took the body off of and put your truck on the chassis of? Yeah, this is the body of it. So, uh, yeah. Um, oh, wow. I took the body, I fixed it up nice, and custom made everything else. Oh, yeah, she sounds good. Whoa! 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 <laughs> hey, bud! If I take it for a spin down the road real quick. Sure, you go have fun before I have to break the news that this Jeep's probably a complete piece of junk. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways. Keep her between the ditches! Ah, what ditches? <laughs> I'd buy something like this, but I don't have the money to operate something like this on a daily basis. Plus, I don't. I don't even need one of these anymore. Anyway, so. I'm gonna go up towards up that direction. This thing screams. Man. Let's take her back up to Patrick's. This thing has all-wheel drive and crab walk or something like that. So that's cool. It does have working turn signals, so that's always nice. And we're gonna jump it. 
Oh yeah. He's probably losing his mind right now driving the strip the way I am. A really cool truck. I wonder if this is his. Probably is. Well, how'd you run? I kind of want it, but I don't need it, so. <laughs> I mean, everything's for sale. Everything. Everything, except my wife. <laughs> so your business is for sale. <laughs> well, I mean, if you offer me a billion dollars, <laughs> heck yeah, I'd sell it. Yeah, well, I only have 27 grand, so you're out of... Oh, well, then this thing's probably about 80 grand out of your budget. But anyways, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to tell you the bad news on this so far from what I see. They're saying um, it's only frame almost. Almost. The frame, possibly salvageable. The rims and tires, shot. Suspension, pretty much shot. Exhaust, shot. Transfer case, shot. Drive shafts, pretty much shot. The floors, pretty much shot. The fender's body, pretty much shot. Everything's pretty much shot. <laughs> but it's fixable. So what's your budget? Well, how much do you think it's going to cost? <laughs> if I were to go through this whole thing and fix everything, plus put in new seats and all that, maybe possibly a new engine... Still a 2.8, but unless that one's not savable. Oh, I don't know. I'd probably have to put about... <clears throat> I'd probably have to put, like... 20 grand into it. Well, that's the round where I'd like to do. Yeah, but just the body work alone... Is probably going to be at least twelve grand. The engine, if I have to buy a new one, probably going to be about three, four grand. That's what. That's already. Pretty sure the grand. engine should be good. Should be, but I'm go through. If in case I had to put a new one in there, I don't even know what the transmission looks like. Let's see. That's transmission. Uh, it's. it's uh, I mean, it's. Okay, actually, is that hole in the transmission rust hole? Yeah, it needs a new transmission. There's a rust hole in the trans. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Around 20 grand is best I can do if I were to go through this whole thing. If I okay. just did the body work, it'd still probably be like 13, 14 grand. Uh huh. So, what do you want me to do? Fix it up. <laughs> And you know I'm cheap and I'm quick. If you bring us any other place, they'll be charging you 40 grand. True, 40, yeah. 50 grand to do it. It's there, have labor and all that. Where I am just a single man show here, so only a little bit of that's labor. Since I know you, it's just not a lot. Yeah. I'm giving you discounts since I know you, so like, do you just want me to go through with the 20 grand? Like, what do you want me to do? It's your budget that I can go. Cause yeah. Plus paint. All that, like, we want to do, we want me to do it and, and see how that goes, or sure. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you the bad news after it's done. I am gonna have to have you prepay. Prepay, okay. Prepay a little if you were to drop out, or I know you wouldn't, but drop out of the deal or something here. I would be stuck with a cheap staff done and someone who can't pay. So I need some money. Yeah, up front. so 20 grand. Is what you want? No, 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 not the whole thing. Not the whole thing. About half, so ten grand. Ten grand, all right. Ten grand. You're just right to check out to uh, just just me, cause I don't have a good name for my shop yet. Thank. Oh. All right. Well, I still Watch have Perfect. hopefully enough money. Oops. For other <sighs> well, things. Well, I'll I'll do my best, but. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm after it's done, you can on, definitely sell I'm it. still waiting on pay from, uh, from hay season, so I'm probably going to stop by for that yeah. here today. Mm -hmm. Should be a good five, eight grand, I think, because we made a good bit on bales this year. Yeah. So Not I should bad. be able to get some money from that. Yeah. But, uh, well, I'm going to get to work on this then. I don't keep you, uh, you know, um, held up right. too much longer, but, uh... Yep. Just uh, have fun. I'll be working on this. Just don't think about it. Just <laughs> think about how much it's going to cost. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, All right, see well, you around. Have fun building it. Oh, I will. Oh, I will.
Alrighty, well I'm gonna head to my parents' house, ask about paying, because he did say come by later today, and I'll give you your money. So I guess we're gonna go do that. So, but anyway, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. A great deal on a Jeep. Hopefully, it won't rob me into bankruptcy whenever it comes to restoring it better. But yeah, hopefully we can get it done. And we still have a lot more to do before winter comes. And some mowing people's yards. So probably getting a lot of his customers. He's been recommending me if they need a help cutting. And most people around here are kind of broke in some ways. And they can't afford lawnmowers. So for some whatever reason. But there's a guy selling them pretty cheap too actually. So I guess some people just don't really know about them that much. You know. But yeah. Um, I think I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. And well, turn the notifications on. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out everybody. down the road. Let's see, does he pull it? <laughs>